A trip to Izmir would not be complete without visiting the ancient city of Ephesus. And that's exactly where we're headed today. So we're at the train station. It's a little early, a little windy, but it should be uh, a really picturesque train ride, I think. We think. We think we know how to get there on the train. We're taking the Isban electric train, which is more of a commuter train, which requires that we change trains at the Tepecoy station. I think that's how you pronounce it. So we're gonna just uh, see how this goes. We are starting our journey at the Alsanjak station in Izmir and traveling south on the Isban to Tepecoy. The first part of our journey takes just about one hour. At the Tepecoy station, we change trains and travel south for another 25 minutes until we reach Selchuk, which is our final destination. So we made it to Tepecoy and we are trying to figure out which train to get on because we have to get off and switch to a different train. We think we've figured it out by asking people with very, very poor Turkish. It's a little confusing because it seems to be that we pick up the train on the northbound platform. All the signs for Selçuk say it's southbound, so... Well, it's definitely southbound, but people have told us the northbound platform. So we're going to see how this works out. <laughs> we're feeling pretty confident because they just said Selçuk. The monitor said we're going the right direction, so I think we'll be all right. We did, we did get on on the platform that had a sign that said northbound. So I don't know if that's standard, but um, if you're traveling this way, it was a little confusing, but uh, not too difficult once we ask around. All right, so we've arrived at the Selchuk station, and uh, we're going to try to find our way over to the Dolmas bus depot um, so we can catch a ride over to... Where are we going? Shirinje someplace. I forgot the name of it. Shirinje. Um, we'll tell you when we get there. We'll tell you when we get there. Uh, we're not going to Ephesus today, um, but it's about three kilometers from here, and uh, we'll be heading over there early tomorrow so we can beat the tourist groups that I think show up around 10 o'clock. Now that we've arrived in Selchuk, our plan is to take a dolmas, which is basically a minibus, to the town of Shirinje, which is about seven kilometers away. And right out the gates of the train station, we're already seeing some pretty cool stuff. This is a Byzantine aqueduct. On top here, you can see there's some storks nesting. They're pretty large birds. All right, we've arrived at Sirince. I think that's how you pronounce it, or Shirin. Shirinje. Not quite sure. It was uh, a little like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It was if pretty you know, cool. You know. <laughs> we got on a Dolmas. It was like 15 really Turkish lira, each. and each, and uh, we just kind of drove through the mountains, and now we're here. So we're yeah. gonna walk around a little bit get and some lunch? get some lunch. Yeah. So the map software isn't the best here, but I did determine that we are at the Church of St. Demetrios, which is in Shirinje. And the inside is very different than I think any other type of church that I've been in. Um, it's quite old.
All right, we made our way over to St. John's Baptist Church. We're gonna go inside and check it out. So we're in St. John the Baptist Church and looking here up online, it was built around 1805. It looks to me to be significantly older, but uh, that's what it says. We've just finished uh, visiting the two Christian churches in this town, and now we are off to do some lunch. A little bit of black mulberry juice to go with lunch. And Stephanie is having Coke, original taste. So we've been finding that mulberries are either in season or very popular. Um, they're all over the markets that we've been going to, little street markets and they're quite delicious, although very difficult to eat. They very quickly stain your fingers. Mulberry juice is actually really good. It's sweet, but it's got like this tartness, and I don't think I've ever had it, but it was actually a really good choice, and I'm enjoying it. And it looks like lunch has arrived. We've got this platter of beef and rice and some vegetables, as well as one of our staple favorites, French fries. So that one's delicious. The beef is super tender. The rice is cooked well. Some vegetables in with it. Fries, like really tasty. A little greasy, tastes like potato chips. Always a plus. I think this is an A-plus lunch. So there are a lot of places to eat, a lot of places to have wine. Very touristy though. So we went on Google Maps and tried to find a couple of the highest rated restaurants. This one is one of the highest rated. And so far it seems like it's been pretty good. So what do you think about lunch? It was actually really good. The meat was super tender, the fries were tasty, and yeah, it was nice ambiance. Really, really cute restaurant. Very Instagrammable. Good. I didn't like it as much. I mean, I thought it was good, but it got a five-star review on Google. I don't think I'd give it quite a five, but um, it wasn't bad. So after lunch, we stopped off to do a little wine tasting. They have a fruit wine, which we hadn't really seen before. They've got strawberry and blueberry, even have mango. Mulberry? They have mulberry and plum wine, which I'd never had before. Well, I haven't really had any of those others either. Um, so we did a little tasting, um, and they had some more local, regional uh, red wines and white wines that we tried um, that were nice. I ended up with the plum wine, just because it's super unique, and who knows when I'll get it again. What did you end up having? I had a regional white. And we're just enjoying sitting here, relaxing, and after we're done, we're going to head back, or maybe we'll get some ice cream and head back. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet, and we don't have to figure that out yet. All right, back in Selchuk, we took the Dolmes, which is these little vans. They're super nice inside. Some of them are. Some yes. of them are. Um, but yeah, super convenient, super inexpensive. So now we're off to one of two things. We're either going to check into our hotel or we're going to go to St. John's Basilica. We're not sure yet. You'll find out in a minute. <laughs> okay, I am loving the orange trees here. Yeah. Just like a little bit too, a little bit too high for me to pick. They look so good. Who is this guy? There doesn't seem to be any kind of placard. All right, according to Google Maps, this is the Ataturk Monument. So right now we're standing in front of the Gate of Persecution of St. John's Basilica. And we're about to take a tour of the grounds. Just above the arch, you can see on the upper left-hand side a relief. There were other reliefs up there. Guess where they are? England. So much marble all over the ground and you're just walking literally on top of it.
We're up here now at the top of the castle or fortress in Selchuk. I will put the name of it because I cannot pronounce it. It's at the top of the mountain right above St. John's Basilica, which we just walked through. And it's quite high, mostly ruins, um, but still quite impressive. Wow, that was really cool. Unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of time. Maybe we shouldn't have had that uh, glass of wine in Shirinje. But uh, we did get to see St. John's Basilica, and we did get up to the fortress or castle. And now we are near the exit, and we're going to head back, probably try to find something to eat. So we're getting some dinner here in um, Selchuk. So we looked on the internet and we found this place, very highly rated, Bob's, and this is thought to be the most gorgeous plate of food we have had since we arrived in Turkey. I cannot wait, my mouth is watering. Really, really good. Oh my gosh, that meal was fantastic. The people who own it, Mehmet and his wife. We have a friend. And the cat. Oh, she's gonna be she's, your friend. She's like definitely wants to be, be friends. friends. Yeah. So we just had a fantastic dinner. Um, great people, good conversation. Well, we met a couple from Quebec and started chatting. Actually, this is the first in the last, I don't know, 10 hours. We've met two couples. <laughs> we haven't met anyone else our entire time here. So we met two couples, this um, this owner and his wife, are just amazing. Really, really spectacular food. Yeah. Um, so friendly. And uh, so if you're in the Izmir area, you need to come here. It is absolutely worth it. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Well, that's enough excitement. Let's call it a night. Because my cat friend is like trying to need me. <laughs>